Hello, dear viewers, and welcome to a long overdue video. Now, this is something I've wanted to talk about for a long time because it's something that has been getting on my nerves for years now, and I'm going to finally take the opportunity to talk about Pride Month and how much I hate it. But before we get to that, I have to put a little disclaimer at the beginning of this video because I know if I don't, I'm going to deal with a bunch of morons that have no ability to think critically calling me a homophobe. So before we begin, I am not homophobic. I do not hate gay people. I am LGBT myself. I've made this pretty clear in other videos so if you're gonna come into this comment section calling me homophobic you're an idiot and i'm not going to take you seriously and if you're gonna do that rather than having a rational conversation or address my arguments with legitimate criticisms or just evidence in general then don't even bother wasting my time i'm annoyed that i even have to put a disclaimer here at all because there's just so many people out there that'll just throw blind accusations for even so much as daring to have an opinion that other people don't like. Now, with that being said, I cannot fucking stand Pride Month. I certainly share the same opinions and feelings on Pride Month as Morgan Freeman feels about Black History Month. I think it's a worthless month, and I don't even understand why it even exists. It's nothing but an entire month dedicated to a uncontrollable fact about yourself. Like, I don't get it. The only reason why Pride Month is even made a thing is because corporations use it as free publicity and to sell overpriced products to people that don't know any better because to corporations, we are nothing but a statistic number and dollar to them. All they see us as is statistics to make money off of and to get free advertisement. And if you can't see that, then you're a fool. But going back to the original point I want to make is I'm sick and tired of this idea that if you're a certain sexuality or a certain sex, that somehow makes you special. No. You are not special because you choose to suck dick or lick pussy. Who you sleep with in bed does not make you special. I am not special because I choose to suck dick. Nothing about that makes me special or unique in any way, but we live in this generation of people that have to have a bitchy label so they can convince themselves that they're not a waste of human existence, and I'm tired of it. What happened to having character? Why are people so obsessed with sexuality? More importantly, why is the mainstream media so obsessed with sexuality as if it's the only thing that matters? What happened to just treating gay people like they were just normal people like to me a gay person is just some normal guy that goes to work takes care of his family maybe plays some video games or sports and oh he just happens to be gay not oh i'm gay i walk around wearing wa rainbow suspenders and i wear booty shorts and make a jackass out of myself like i don't understand this mentality of treating gay people like they're special one month out of the year first off are you trying to say that gay people can only be prideful of the fact that their sexuality is now accepted and no longer taboo one month out of the year much like a wise man once said you're gonna relegate my history to an entire month same is true with us what you're gonna relegate my ability to be prideful of my sexuality to just one month out of the year doesn't that kind of devalue it it's like valentine's day it's one of the most worthless holidays of all time and it only exists so corporations can take advantage of it and sell you overpriced products like pride month is worthless in the same way valentine's day is worthless why celebrate or only love someone one day out of the year 
Shouldn't you be loving the person you love every day of the year, not just one day out of the year? If you're going to be prideful about your sexuality, which is really stupid, but if you're going to do that, be prideful of it every day, not just one month out of the year. Like, Pride Month has always just been such a robotic thing. Every year, it's the same routine. And it does nothing to justify its existence, because when it comes to actual gay people that need help in other countries, you'll never hear people during Pride Month speak about that. One thing I always talk about is you'll never hear people during Pride Month to, or just in general talk about the horrible domestic abuse among lesbian couples. When you do research into the domestic abuse statistics, lesbians statistically abuse their lovers far more often than heterosexual and homosexual couples combined, and we do not see these same numbers among bisexual girls, so it's a problem with lesbians in general, and yet nobody wants to talk about it, and if you even bring it up, you just get called a homophobe, and I find that annoying. If you're going to make something out of Pride Month, at least make it valuable, at least justify its existence in some way don't just say oh here's here's a holiday for the gays because screw it we need them to feel special i'm sorry but i don't need my sexuality to feel special thank you very much the idea that you have to spend a month celebrating the fact that it's socially acceptable to be different is really, really stupid. You shouldn't have to celebrate being gay, black, etc. Because that just encourages others to look at you like a stigma. Not as an individual, when you should be considered one, no matter what, no matter who or what you are. As a homosexual myself, this month is kind of honestly pathetic. Having an entire month dedicated to what is essentially virtue signaling, it's actually more embarrassing than it is empowering. Because of it, because it just shows even more that gay people are more to be gawked at, like a zoo animal, than they are to be treated as equals. And it's also kind of fucked that these kind of months promote the idea that it's okay to be gay, black, whatever, on said month, it's almost dehumanizing. I remember on Black History Month and the really bad PR YouTube got for the whole support black creators tweet and the backlash that it got. It feels more like a sense of pity on them and by extension, every other month then it does a sense of recognition and equality. I also had a discussion about BHM and Pride Month a little while back because of this Reddit post. With Pride Month just around the corner, can we get a tracer slash emily spray there's just so many things wrong with that and a lot of people on the post are too blinded by senseless inclusivity to realize it the main one being that since the game has worldwide recognition it would not be a good idea to have blatant LGBT propaganda in an otherwise homophobic country, such as Russia, 
My main beef with it is the sheer amount of virtue signaling it poses. Overwatch doesn't need any more of that. And gays don't need that much representation. I'm sick and tired of this mentality that people think that we LGBT people, we need representation to feel included or validated by society. I don't need representation to feel like I, my existence is validated. Is it nice to see in media? Sure, but it's not something you're entitled to. You're not entitled to representation. Deal with it. Ultimately, the idea of these months don't actually acknowledge accomplishments set by the groups. They're meant to represent they more used as they are more used as a tool to feel apologetic towards said groups. Black History Month especially, I've been calling it Black Apology Month. Since the only real things discussed on Black History Month revolves around slavery and how we as a culture recognize that more than we do the current or non-civil rights accomplishments set by black people. I don't want gay people to have to feel the same way. I don't want it to be Gay Recognition Month, simply because it's the month that homosexuals were legally allowed to marry nationwide. These months don't normalize the idea of being black, gay, etc. And just saying that sounds even more dehumanizing. Gay people should be treated like people, not gays. Same with blacks, Asians, Hispanics, what have you. We're all people, not subclasses. I am sick and tired of this intersectionality and identity politics bullshit where we all need to be divided up into little groups. No, that is far more dehumanizing than anything I have ever heard. Like, what's next? Is there going to be a trap pride month? Like, I might as well start a trap pride month then. Or on second thought, no, because we traps don't need a month to ourselves to validate our existence because we just do it every single day. And even then, it would just be used to make us into another subgroup so people can pity us. Because that's all I see when Pride Month comes around. I see a bunch of people taking pity on me and feeling sorry for me because, oh boo hoo, look at the weak little gay boy. He can't feel acknowledged or his existence can't be validated unless we pity him because the world is just so homophobic and he probably gets beaten up or bullied. Boo fuckity who go screw yourselves and go screw this month. Same with all the other months. Like, guess what? There's European History Month. I don't care about it. I don't need a German History Month or a White History Month or a Trap Pride Month or a German Pride Month. Like, what's next? Should we just have a Nazi Pride Month? Since you want to just make up months out of the year, no, we don't need these months. They are worthless. And I encourage you, if you're a member of the LGBT community and you're not insane, I would recommend just boycotting this month because it's worthless. It does nothing for us as LGBT people. We already have our rights. Homophobia is slowly but surely fading away. Just enjoy our rights enjoy our freedoms let's be treated like the normal people we've wanted to be treated as i don't treat me dressing and acting like a girl like it's some abnormal thing no i just do it and i just act normal 
There's no need to act so over the top and the pride parades need to freaking go. All a pride parade is is just a very hypersexualized parade where you will see legitimate 10 year olds twerking and it's disturbing. End it now. End this month. I am so sick and tired of it. Every single year I dread this month. I remember last year I made the top 10 worst lesbian characters in anime because people legit won't even criticize things like fictional gay characters even if they are atrociously written or act despicable. Nobody will call them out, so I decided to do that, and I may do more in the future simply because I'm sick and tired of feeling like I need to be coddled. I do not need to be coddled. I can stand up for myself, I can speak for myself, and I am not weak no matter how much you whiny virtue signaling losers may think that I am weak. So kindly go F yourself and stop taking pity on us. We don't need it. You want to give people pity? How about give people in the Middle East pity that are being forced to become women and being thrown off roofs simply for their lifestyle? Quit bitching about first world problems. Overexposure can actually lead people to hate these groups. Not for what they represent, but simply because they're in places where that comes off as overly forced. It's sort of similar to how some people hate very popular music because it's overplayed, or how some people hate certain shows or fandoms because the fans shove the fandom stuff anywhere in discussion and other places where it doesn't fit. There is slowly a backlash growing towards the LGBT community, not because people are homophobic, but because they're sick and tired of getting this stuff shoved down their throats. And I don't blame them. I'm actually on their side. This needs to stop. People don't like being told what to think or what to do. People don't like having stuff shoved down their throat. Most people in Western societies are accepting of gay people. There's nothing left to fight for in Western society. So once again, end this God forsaken month. But that is my rant on Pride Month. What do you all think of Pride Month? Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'm almost certain this video is probably going to get attacked inevitably by people that call me a homophobe, and YouTube is probably going to blacklist this video. Oh well, it's my honest thoughts, and you can't do anything about it.